And here is the Writer's Almanac for Tuesday, the 26th of October, 2021. 1776, on this date, Benjamin Franklin, at the age of 70, set sail on his diplomatic mission to France, accompanied by two of his grandsons. He spent nine years in Paris, made himself at home there. The French loved him, even though his French was rather poor, and he did not really understand French social customs. But he was very passionate about the cause of American freedom, and France secretly aided the cause of the revolution. They sent money and supplies, and then after the Americans defeated the British, at the Battle of Saratoga, October 1777, the French signed an alliance. Franklin stayed on a few more years. In 1783, he signed the Treaty of Paris, which officially ended the war, and returned home in 1785. Friends thought that on the long voyage home, he should write a memoir of his years in France, but he was a scientist at heart, and instead he wrote a pamphlet entitled Cause and Cure of Smoky Chimneys. The Erie Canal was opened on this day in 1825, connecting the Atlantic Ocean and the Great Lakes, 360 miles long, 40 feet wide, and 4 feet deep, just deep enough to float barges carrying 30 tons of freight. It's the anniversary of Norway's independence from Sweden in 1905. The Union was peacefully dissolved, and a Danish prince, Prince Karl, took the name Håkon and was made king of Norway. It's the birthday of the playwright John Arden, born in Barnsley, England, 1930, best known for his play Sergeant Musgrave's Dance. John Arden, who said theater must celebrate noise, disorder, drunkenness, lasciviousness, nudity, generosity, corruption, fertility, and ease. And it was on this day in 1900, Henry James wrote his first letter to the novelist Edith Wharton. She'd sent him a story that she wrote about a young woman in Europe, and Henry James wrote back to say that she should write about the New York society that she had grown up in. He wrote, Be tethered in native pastures, even if it reduces you to a backyard in New York. Here's a poem for today by Katrina Vandenberg, entitled Fuchsia. That summer in the West, I walked sunrise to dusk, narrow twisted highways without shoulders, low stone walls on both sides. Hedgerows of fuchsia hemmed me in, the tropical plant now wild, centuries after nobles imported it for their gardens. I was unafraid, did not cross to the outsides of curves, did not look behind me for what might be coming. For weeks, in counties Cary and Cork, I walked through the red blooms the Irish call the tears of God, blazing from the brush like lanterns. Who would have thought a warm current touching the shore of that stone-cold country could make lemon trees, bananas, and palms, not just take, but thrive. Wild as the jungles they came from, where boas flexed around their trunks, like my other brushes with miracles, the men who love you back, how they come to you, gorgeous and invasive, improbable, hemming you in, and you walk that road blazing some days, not even afraid to die. Fuchsia by Katrina Vandenberg from The Alphabet Not Unlike the World, published by Milkweed Editions and used by permission here on the Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.